Face-off win for Team USA, and they score off of it. Sanderson. That's going to be Jake Sanderson setting up Dylan Peterson. Fine play all around, and Peterson snaps one in for his first of the year at 10-27. Good return pass to Powell. He'll take it left side. Powell on the left point. Sanderson back top the left circle for Powell. Sanderson gets the shot, fired it wide. And they score on the rebound. Played the carom off the back wall, so the Sanderson shot, I believe, uh, was an intentional shot wide of the goal, and it's going to be Alex Tuck who tucks it in, pun intended. USA takes a 1-0 lead, time of the goal, 8-17. Sanderson will draw the primary assist. Take a look at the replay here. Powell finding Sanderson. He shoots it wide, and Tuck at the right doorstep with Slaggart. 2021. Got my dates mixed up. Faber works it out center ice. On the rush with Bortolo. Smolanic on his left. Takes the pass. Jammed it in. An outstanding tip by Bortolo and Latkozy made the stop. Right wing in tight. Here's Smolanic. Got the shot. Scores! And it's 4 0. Bortolo and Smolanic have some excellent chemistry there. And Smolanic. Gives USA a 4-0 lead. Portal the primary assist. Time of the goal, 16-52. Ty Smolanic. We're going to take a look here. Sanderson finding Portolo. And Portolo found uh, Smolanic. French right now. And depending on results, including Tri-Cities, two games here in this building this weekend, and on the out-of-town scoreboard report brought to us by the Midway Auto Dealerships. Depending on what happens this weekend, Tri-City could finish the weekend as high as second in the standings, as low as sixth. So a lot on the line. And Team USA in the building for back-to-back -back games. As they announce the call to Mazer. 20 seconds gone by on the power play. USA controlling inside the line. They'll get it back to the point. Brock Faber holding on to it. Down the wing again. Cross ice feed. Samuelson across the ice to fire and score. Eamon Powell has tied the game on the power play. 17-17 left to go in the Hilltop Mall second period. Carter Mazur, he skates away from the integrated security solutions and central fire and safety hot box. We see on the Nebraska 8-1-1 instant replay. The drive from Powell. And it's the first puck by Joe Sherub tonight. He was screened, no doubt about it. But the U18s. A 3-1 USA lead. Dropping it for Sanderson. He'll leave it right point now. Walking the line favor. Sanderson to the high slot. Looking to spin away from the check of Ando. To the half wall, Berard. Uh, Bortolo. Leaving it for Tuckett now, Bortolo. Berard working uh, at the hash marks. Here's Sanderson moving and got the shot. Save made the lead score. Going to be Luke Tuck. Purcell made the stop, but just too many white jerseys there. Tuck hungry on that puck. He calls the blue ice his office. And Tuck real comfortable in the office. Scores his second of the night. USA leading 4-1. to one. Tuck his second of the night at 12.54. Look at all the traffic out in front. And Tuck beat Riley Funk to the puck in the blue ice. Back behind the net. Grant plays it around on the board. Sanderson goes for a pinch. Left wing to the half wall against two Lumberjacks. Beneers trying to center it out in front block. Davies being forechecked by Beneers. Sanderson got in the way of his man. Moving into the hash marks. And now Beneers a shot. Put it under the bar. Scores! He put it under the bar. Matt. Trump for it at the half wall in the USA zone. Sanderson took it off of Andu. USA brings it back. Eamon Powell straight up the middle. Nova down brings it back into Luca. Neutral territory, tipping it into the USA end. DeLuca knocked off the puck, and Peterson back in transition. Three on two, four on two if they hurry. Drop pass, Sanderson got the shot, scores! And USA ties it up, and here come the Teddy Bears. Poor Sanderson is fourth of the year. So there'll be a bit of a delay. As we take a look at uh, some of the teddy bears. I want to thank Orrin Jewelers. As we take a look at the play, this starts with Peterson. Drop for Sanderson, and he ripped it in. 
tackle, but icing was waved off in the neutral zone by linesman Justin Cornell. Muskegon or Team USA, one of the two could have played it around there. And so we come back the other way. Team USA centering pass, Sanderson to the back door. They score. What a play there between Matthew Beneers and Jake Sanderson. A two-on-one down low, executed beautifully as the final pass was Sanderson to Beneers, who puts home his sixth goal of the season. And Sanderson gets, including on this power play, A.J. Hodges, a narrow miss on a breakaway. Berard streaking down the left wing, will peel off and give it up. Sanderson, now right side, Powell drags and shoots, and they'll score. Oh, it took a bad hop off at least one body in the slot. And goals a goal, so. Hunter Strand played ahead and pass across, score! What a look from Jake Sanderson. Defeated along, where it could be buried home by Ty Smolak. You gotta be patient, walking in. Sanderson, pass, score! Jake Sanderson with a great look to Hunter Strand. 5-1, Team Knubel. It doesn't get much easier than that for any player, and Hunter Strand is the recipient of a great play by Jake Sanderson. Matt Veneers, the goal scorer. Sanderson to the high slot, got the shot. That was blocked. And a shot right on goal. Yoder scored on the rebound. First shot by Veneers and a great stop by Bangar. But Yoder out in front banged it home. USA, just like that, takes a 2-1 lead. Kind of a broken play, but it ended up in the back of the net, and Yoder gives USA their first lead of the night. Time of the goal, 4-11. Take a look here, this is a bit of a broken play. Sanderson starts it, puck bounces, run it on goal towards the net.